Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about key secrets and certificate in Azure Key Vault. So in the previous video, we have already created uh, Azure Key Vault and we have uh, looked into the steps uh, of how to create the uh, Azure Key Vault. And in this video, let's look at the objects. So here we have three different objects. One is keys, secrets and certificates. So if we talk about the definitions, let's click the keys. So the keys is a cryptographic object that is used to secure data or resources. Cryptographic keys are used to encrypt and decrypt the data, to sign and verify digital signatures, and to establish a secure connection between the systems. Keys can be used in a various ways, such as uh, symmetric encryption, where the same key is used for both encryption and decryption, uh, or in asymmetric uh, encryption, where a pair of keys are being used. So in Azure Key Vault, uh, you can create and manage uh, keys programmatically or uh, through the Azure portal. So you can create uh, your keys here. You can just click uh, Generate and you can generate or import your keys if you have any or restore the backup in this case we will be using uh, the generate and uh, we have to just uh, give a name here so in this case i'll just give key one and based on the based on your preference you have to choose the encryption algorithm as well as the size so once this is done uh, you can also see there is a activation date and expiration so coming to the set activation date you can add the date uh, when it want to be activated so sets uh, when the resource uh, will become active so you can set a uh, date accordingly and coming to the set expiration date uh, this is the expiration date of this particular key so you can just add it and uh, add the relevant date in which this key can be expired and this should be enabled so whenever this is enabled only then you can access this key uh, from remote uh, you know uh, maybe virtual machines through which you have given access to when it is uh, you keep no then you will be not able to access these keys uh, from the other resources so i'll be using yes in this case and you can add the tags if you want and just create it so in this case you can see it is key one and create so you see we have created key one and uh, we have got this expiration date by default and this is the key so this is how you have to create this key and uh, coming to the secrets, let's go ahead and uh, see what are the secrets. So click the secrets section and basically the secrets are any sensitive or confidential data that needs to be securely stored and managed. So this can include the things like passwords, API keys, connection strings and certificates. By storing the secrets in Azure Key Vault, you can ensure that uh, they are protected by industry standard security uh, measures and access controls. So secrets can be used in a various ways such as authenticating users, authorizing access to the resources and establishing a secure connection between the systems. So in Azure Key Vault, you can create and manage your secrets programmatically or through Azure portal. So you can click generate and you can add manual or you can, if you have any certificate, you can just select the certificate. So in this case, I'll be using the manual and in this say, let's say uh, my password and I'll be adding my password. and content type is a password and you can also add the relevant uh, you know activation as well as expression date in this case i'll just create so we have created our uh, password and now let's check in the certificate section so let's click certificates so basically a certificate is a digital document that verifies the identity of a person uh, or organization or a device Certificates are used to establish secure connection between systems and authenticate users and encrypt the data. So in Azure Key Vault, uh, you can securely store and manage certificates as uh, well as other secrets such as passwords, API keys and connection strings. So certificates can be used to secure uh, you know, resources such as uh, web applications, virtual machines and IoT devices. So in Azure Key Vault, you can uh, create and manage certificates programmatically or uh, using uh, Azure portal. So let's click here and uh, this is how we can generate it. So, or you can import if you have any certificate. In this case, I just click generate and add the relevant uh, name. And based on your preference, you have to select the options and uh, click create. So even here, you can see here, we have different options like type of uh, security authority, whether uh, certificate is issued by integrated CA or uh, issued by non-integrated CA. So based on like uh, your certificate requirements, you have to select it and uh, you have to create so we'll be talking about this uh, in the further videos if we uh, see the keys we have key one so click that and here you see we have a version control so you can click uh, create and you can generate a new key and let's click create 
so this is the older version and this is the current version so you can also uh, use the versions concept here uh, for the keys and based on your needs you can just you know enable them or uh, disable them accordingly so i can just disable it and uh, you know enable the previous one and so on and you know uh, i can uh, you see i can enable accordingly so this is how you can use uh, these keys or uh, secrets as well as certificates so all the definitions that i've told was from uh, uh, microsoft docs so coming to this video i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video and if you like the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone